What's good YouTube? It's your boy Nick Wavy. I'm back with a new video. I know I haven't given you guys a wave update in a little bit, but just because I haven't been making wave videos doesn't mean I'm not brushing. Now, if you guys remember the last haircut video I made, my boy Solo Cuz, he was he was dissing. You know, he was saying, yo, I'm wavier than you, you're slacking, and he was saying I was slacking. Everybody was saying I was slacking. So I made sure that when I got my fresh cut, I'm gonna put in overtime work. I'm gonna really start brushing. So these days I probably have brush sessions maybe twice a day, one a day for sure. But during the day, I might have a little session, but the evening is where I really have my serious in the bathroom, you know, put in real work. Now I got my hair cut April 11th, and today is April 24th, I think. So it's been about two weeks, and I've been putting in a lot of work. But first, I'm gonna show you guys an update of what my hair looks like. Now, as you can see, I've been making crazy progress. The progress is crazy. So this is two weeks since my fresh cut. And if you go back and watch one of my older videos, you can see in the two weeks that I've just, the progress I've made in the past two weeks has been ridiculous because I've been really focusing on what I'm doing. So this video is basically going to be a how to brush 360 ways for beginners. So if you're new to getting 360 ways or 720 ways or whatever, I'm going to show you and explain to you the process of how to brush your hair. Now there's no right way to brush it. There's no wrong way to brush it. How you brush it is how the waves are going to form. So if you brush your hair like this, going sideways, right? Your waves are going to go to the side. If you brush going straight down, your waves are going to go all the way down. So it's all about how you brush it and how you want your waves to form. So for example, on this side, I bring it down to my ear and you can see it has that style to it, right? But over here, you can tell that I already brush it on a totally different angle. So how you brush it is how your waves will form. Here I come here. But one thing is for sure, what you have to do is always start from the crown. Locate your crown. And that's probably one of the most important videos I've ever made, in my opinion, is how to find your crown in about 30 minutes. I think that's what the video was called. But it's when I first started waving and I basically pinpointed my crown and I showed you how I'm gonna close it and how I'm gonna brush it. So, you guys definitely have to go watch that video to see how you can close your crown. And you can see how I close mine. So yeah, like I said, it's all about how you brush it. The direction that you brush it is how your waves are gonna form. So it's important to find your crown. That's the number one important step. Get a hand mirror. Just imagine this was a mirror and then this is a mirror right here. So I can look into the mirror and I can see exactly what's going on with my hair and see exactly what I need to brush. That is a major key in getting waves. You need a hand mirror. The way I like to brush my 360 waves is just like this. When it comes to the top, I count it, I kind of categorize it into sections. So there's a, a direct middle, there's a, a right middle, there's a left middle. Let's go to my left. There's a left from crown to the edge of your lineup, just in that corner. Just like that. There's a crown all the way down to the side on the 45 degree angle. Just like that. Then you have to get from the crown behind your ear. And I always focus on brushing my ear down because that lets me know I'm getting the hairs right here. And that's why you see I have waves right down there to the edge. So I go like this and I brush my ear down as you can see. There's a section from here, crown down to below the ear. There's a direct middle in the back. And this right here is my weak spot, but I realized what I'm gonna start doing. Well, yeah, I have been doing it. I've been going like this and brushing it all the way down but I'm gonna start looking at this and brushing here so I can see exactly where my forks are gonna come, uh, where my waves are gonna come in. So you can see I'm brushing straight down. 
and that's how I'm gonna get my waist to come in there. So that's more so the middle, the middle right, middle right back. And you get to the right side, I go from crown to behind the ear. I'm brushing all the way through my ear, just like that. And then I go from crown to the, around here, the front. Pretty much the corner. And then here we are again. That's a full 360. So let me give you guys another brush through. I've been really focusing on my middle, as you can see. I can't have a weak middle. That used to be my super weak spot. And another tip that I can give you is you have to use both hands. So, for example, let me show you. I said this in another video. If I go like this, right? And then I work my way over, you can see the brush is starting to get on an angle. Well, now I'm doing it good because I'm looking in the mirror, but when I'm blind brushing, sometimes I go like this, sometimes I go like this, and that's why I have those weak spots there. So what I started to do is just hit my left side, just like that. It definitely takes a lot of practice. Like you gotta figure out your angles. And I think I just found it. So what I'm actually gonna start doing is, when I'm on my right side, right, I can focus on the top corner of my head, which is this side coming down, like pretty much here. The top, but right here. So I focus on hitting those connectors, right? Because it connects from the top to the side. So I can focus on hitting that, but when I come over here, I was just looking into my camera and I realized I was going like this. And you can see that's where forks are gonna be caused, so. No, I was going like this, sorry, I was brushing like this. So you need to focus on hitting your connectors, which is right here. Yeah, right there. Let me focus on the left hand. Focus on the connectors. I find it a lot easier to brush with it with the camera instead of the mirror because the mirror is so big but here I don't know I can hold my head down and I can still see how my waves can go so you can see I'm working straight from the crown and then the good thing about the wavy merge brushes is the vertical the tip so as you can see the rows in this are, are pretty much all aligned so I can vertically brush and horizontal brush and it's still gonna work the same. My arm's getting a little tired. So let me just switch over here, switch arms and focus on the back middle. So I wanna make sure I get the waves right here. So I'm looking right here to see how they're gonna connect over. So let's just organize that and I brush that straight down. Just like that. And then come here. I'm still going on a pretty much of an angle. And then bring it to my ear. to the edges but you see like it's all about switching arms because if you focus for example I was going here for so long and I was going here now my arm is tired so I'm not trying to go like this then I switch arms I go here but you can't forget to hit the spot that you missed so I'm gonna hit it like that I want to switch up my angles like as I'm making these videos with you guys, that's why I don't edit it, like chop it up. I'm learning as I go along. So the mistakes that I make, you guys can learn from. So what I wanna do is focus on the connectors, which is here, here, um, here, and here. And I call them connectors because it's the parts where they connect your sides. So, your top side to your right side, it has that connector. Your right side to your back, it has that connector, you know? So I wanna focus on hitting the connectors a lot more. 
And I'll do a video on how to better your connections and more in depth of that. So I gotta go like this and then come here and really come down. Yeah, that's about it, y'all. Like, I pretty much, I like doing these videos because I learn. So I'm focusing on the connector right now. And I'm on another connector. Right. But as you can see, the progress is crazy. And I'm gonna keep progressing, you know, that's just with everything. Not even just waves. That's my mentality. I wouldn't mind scalping though, just because I wanna fix a few things. If I can't fix them, I will be scalping. And this is my left side right here. My left side is my weak point right now. That I need to focus on a lot more. But yeah, that's basically it, you guys. Let me switch and focus on the connector. Yeah, okay. Right there. So I need to train my left hand to get used to this motion. Not bad, not bad. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you guys haven't picked up the Wavy Merch brushes yet, don't sleep, okay? I'll tell you guys, don't sleep. The progress is undeniable. These are the only brushes I'm using, so check out wavymerch.com. Pick them up. And yeah, if you guys have any other video ideas or topics you want me to discuss, post that in the comment section down below so I can you know, help you guys. We'll catch y'all in the next video.